Okay, um, I guess um, first we'd like to start, maybe perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your family history from when I think it was, I believe, her parents or go on. Mm -hmm. They are both from Japan. And uh, my father came over on a steam uh, steamship as a cabin or as a uh, sailor, I guess. Merchant Marine. Mer no, just as, I don't know what he was. Anyway, he came around um, to go, would be Africa or something. Anyway, to go to England from Japan. And um, when he uh, when he got to England, he got scarlet fever. And then he went all the way over to New York. And then he uh, worked as a, um, I guess, uh, you know, working as domestic at a at a person's house. And he kind of learned English, and he wrote a diary. But uh, I never read it, so I don't know what he did. Then he worked his way over to California, and he. Um, um, Worked there, and he was at Signal Hills, but he didn't buy he didn't buy any land. So, but his brother did, and his brother made a lot of money and went back to Japan. But he moved to Pomona, and I don't know. And <laughs> and then uh, he got a picture bride from Japan. He was from Nagoya in Japan, and um, my mother came over, and I don't know when they moved to Pomona, California, but uh, they had two children, I guess, before they moved to California, uh, Pomona, and then the rest of us was born at Pomona, and we, he farmed, and he bought some land. And so we had, uh, so then he he uh, worked that farm, and he did pretty well, okay. And we went to, and then uh, when Pearl Harbor happened, and then about uh, oh, a month or so, they came and uh, took him to, um, they kind of looked through the house also. And so, and what so, did the house, what did that mean? they searched it. They searched the house, and then they took him to Tahunga, California, mm -hmm. and he stayed there until he was. Now I think it was New Mexico that they took him, and he stayed over there for at least three months before he was sent back to. Um, we were in Heart Mountain, Wyoming, at that time, so because he was just like on the board of a Japanese school, um, Japanese school. He wasn't anybody really high up, so I guess they figured that he wasn't going to be uh, harmful. And then he, um, so while we were waiting to go, I think we, maybe it's about two or three months before we had to go into camp. But before that, we took all the stuff that was like Japanese papers and stuff. We burnt them out in the farm. So we didn't have any any of the stuff, the Japanese stuff. And then when we went, we were sent to Pomona Assembly Center, mm -hmm. you know, the Pomona Fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fairgrounds. And uh, I guess we stayed there for a couple of months. But I think we... When we went there, we all had to have, I think it was typhoid uh, shots. And more of the boys and men got sick than the women. I don't know. But when we went there, we had to go, and they gave us a bag, and we had to fill it with straw. And we slept on that straw mattress. And there were seven of us and uh, in one, like a big barrack that they had built and then um, uh, then we went got on a train and was uh, we went to um, 
we went through Texas and came back through and went up to Wyoming. But all that time, they had the shades down, so no, nobody could see us or we couldn't see out. So it was about a day and a half when we got to Wyoming. Did they tell you why? And, uh, and then, uh, so we were there, there in camp. And my knowledge of camp is not that great because... We, I, we only stayed one year because my folks, you know, they had the land and they sold it. And they, they bought a, a Council Bluffs, Iowa. They bought a, a kind of a, a little farm. They had a greenhouse because, you know, it snows in the winter. And, uh, and, and I was sent to... Uh, to be a schoolgirl, if you know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it means? No. no. Yeah. Well, it means that you go into a person's house and you, uh, I more or less was a babysitter for their child. And I was able to go to school because I was 16. So I was there and I and took, I took, took, uh, did the, you know, helped them with the, house cleaning and uh, dishes and washing clothes and um, they paid me five dollars a month but they uh, they fed me and I had a house I mean I, I was I had a place to stay but while we were in camp the um, uh, we got there and we had to stuff our mattress again with straw and they had army cots we would slip on. And while we were there, they, people made, uh, you know, little extra chairs or tables, whatever they, had, they could find wood for. And uh, some of the kids used to sneak out and go to the Shoshone River and go swimming. I never did, but they did. And we were in school. Um... I was in the 10th grade, so the one year I was in school, and um, I noticed I was uh, I was trying to be very helpful to this girl because she came late, and I let her copy my notebook for home economics, and she got an A, and I got a C. <laughs> I was very angry, <laughs> but... Uh, but anyway, the the teachers were pretty good, and some of them were uh, Japanese, and some of them were uh, uh, Caucasians that came from outside to help us. And then they they also had a church that we could go on Sunday. And um, then during the winter, they put water, and uh, I went ice skating. My mom bought me a pair of ice skates through the uh, Sarah's catalog. And so it was just fun, you know, I went ice skating. And uh, it, it, there were 10,000 people there, so there were a lot of barracks. So when you walk around the camp, it was a long walk. <laughs> and it was, it was dusty during the summer because it was hot and cold in the winter. And my mother worked, and she got $12 a month. And I think my dad, when he came back, he was working. They had a farm, so he worked out there. He got $16. And the doctors got $19 a month. So yeah, they didn't get much money, but but this, um, what do you call it, the, the store? You could buy a little candy or papers and stuff like that. But with, you know, $12 a month, it wasn't much money <laughs> to spend. But we managed. And uh, they had a pop belly stove in the uh, the cabin, you know, the the uh, where we slept. And we had a, yeah, to keep us warm in the summer, winter time. And I guess we went and bought some material and, and uh, made curtains so it looked kind of nice. 
and uh, but uh, it was very dusty because there was you know the wood wasn't real close so then the wind blew so the dust came into the barracks and they had these um, they had a bunch of uh, to wash your clothes so they had a lot of uh, what do you call those sinks and then then they had the bathrooms and there was no partition just a bunch of toilets sitting there and you're with other people going to the bathroom and going to taking a shower it was just a big shower and so there was no privacy and uh, I know and then and then uh, uh, there was one some people they went out and got a rattlesnake and cleaned it in one of the sinks so I never used that sink <laughs> <laughs> But they had a bunch of other things. But So the people that stayed in there longer, you know, they had more. They, they had a lot of, uh, they had basketball and football. And they went out and played with other, uh, the like Cody and, and uh, the towns outside. So they were able, able to play with them because they had some good athletes at our place. But... I never was there because I was out already. So, anyway, the um, I guess the food wasn't very good. <laughs> they, at the beginning, it was like mutton. You know, that's real. That's an old sheep. So those the meat was real <laughs> sweet. So, but and then later on, the the uh, Japanese. Uh, cooks some of them they came and so they were the food was a little better and some of them they would have these uh, cafeterias in each block and some of the guys they find out if it's a good cook then they would all gang up and go to those places so they could get some good food but um, I don't know what else you want to know um, should, we start, should we start on the like initially, the... okay. So, um, how were you informed, or that you were going to be sent to? I guess first the assembly center in Pomona. Like, how how was that process well, like? Well, you know, I was thirteen, so I really was not involved in a lot of that. I guess they they just you know sent letters and stuff. I guess to to us. I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't, uh, I wasn't involved in all that, so I really don't know. But then we were told to go to Pomona. And so we just had a suitcase each. And uh, that's all we could take. So, um, what else? Did you have to sell property or any other? Uh, well, they, um, like I said, they put it in, you know, had someone else look after it. That's why when after a year we were able to, they were able to sell it and then they bought the land in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, could could um, you describe the, maybe the differences between the barracks in Pomona and, or like the, the camp in Pomona? Compared to the one in Heart Mountain, like were there? Well, they were more, they were more or less the same. The the built you know the houses were built the same way. Mm -hmm. Only in uh, Heart Mountain, well, the only building that we lived in was you know it was just um, uh, what do you call that uh, plywood, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they put Celotex. It's a kind of a uh, inside where it's kind of no it's uh um what would you call it like straw that's pushed together <laughs> like a yeah i guess kind of like uh yeah i guess so board 
and that's the way they were all just just to, you know they weren't fancy or anything they're just at like a barn um, anyhow we we had someone that we put stuff up in our attic so we we're a little lucky we got a you know and they sent the stuff to us and I know after I left, they had a newspaper that they went to, uh, let's see, the, who was out there, Cody's out there in another town, or Cheyenne, I guess, and they went and r went over there and ran the newspaper, you know, they printed it outside, so those people were able to go outside, and then of course there were places where people went to, um, uh, they would go out on farms, you know, and help them do the beets, and then they, they would help them make ketchup. They'd have tomato. they go to the plants and make those. They'd make a little money. And, and, some, and some people went out, and they went as sharecroppers, and they went and helped, you know, and they got a little money. These are all, they went out of camp. And, um, and I guess a lot of them, if they could go, they went out to college, if they could go. They would go into somebody's house, you know, maybe in work and, and, uh, do, do little th odds and ends around the house. Like my father-in-law went to when he was in a, um, they went, they got a little house and they, they had a big uh, yard, so they went and he did the gardening there. So his whole family got to stay in a house in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. But, um, and my husband was in the army at the time. He was inducted before the war. So he was in there and he was sent to uh, Italy, you know, when that in France, mm -hmm. so he was on, in the artillery, and he, this friend of his was the infantry, and he he says when he went by, he says, "Oh hi," you know, but by the time he got up there, the guy was dead. So I mean, you know, that's how fast people got killed, and uh, but he he made it back okay. Um, so, I guess um, since on the topic on um, Japanese American presence in the military during World War Two, um, what what were your opinions on, at the time of of the segre of the segregated 442nd um, unit? Like, did you like do you have any like opinion about them at the time when you were well, during your time in the camps? <laughs> You're talking to somebody that didn't pay much attention to those kind of things. I was only about 16. So, I mean, you know, of course, a lot of the people were very sad, you know, the parents, because the mothers, you know, they lost their children. And uh, so they, it was uh, pretty sad for them. But the the guys that did go... They wanted to go and, uh, like, the 442 was, I think, originated in Hawaii. So they, that, so that's how they got the go for broke. So they're the one that really helped save, uh, you know, people in uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they really worked hard over there. And, and then, of course, they had some that was interpreters that knew Japanese and they went with uh, to Japan, I guess. And so military intelligence service. And uh, uh, I'm, <laughs> if I was probably about four or five years older, I would have more opinions about that, but I was young, so I didn't really, really, uh, you know, think about those kind of things. 
What What was your initial impression upon first arriving to the camp? Like of of the camp. Well, <laughs> my first impression, I don't know. You know, it's so long ago that I can't really remember, but uh, it, it was uh, more interesting for me as a child, you know, going somewhere new and, you know, doing that. If I was, if I had been five years older, I probably would have more of a, you know, because You'd be ready to go to college or, you know, something like that. But I was still young, so it was an adventure, mm. I guess you could say, for me. Oh. To see so many Japanese, because in Pomona, there weren't, there, there weren't that many people there, Japanese, so. But uh, we didn't go out after, after that happened. We didn't go out. And uh, people, I don't remember anything being mean to me. So, but I know in Seattle, it was really bad. Because they said, you know, they, don't, they didn't want to cut your hair. They didn't want to feed you. They didn't want to they want you to do anything. So, yeah, in, in, in the bigger cities, it was kind of not nice in LA too, but I'm not from LA, so. Um, I guess uh, another question since, uh, how did, I know you said it felt kind of like more of an adventure for, I guess for your age at the time, but when you were first um, placed in the Pomona Assembly Center, since you were from Pomona, what, what, how did that feel like knowing that home was maybe a mile or two away, but you were confined to the, the fairgrounds? Did, was it still an adventure? Well, it was. It was that you know. It was what you had to do. And when you're that age, and in Japanese, we. I mean, you know, you're supposed. You have to do what everybody else is doing. You don't fight it unless. If you're older, they had about three or four, three people that you know protested because they were. They were American citizens, and they were in their 20s, and they said, you know, this is a, against the law to put us in prison because we're American citizens. And they stood up, and they got put in jail. So there were, you know, a lot of people that were older that, a lot of them didn't want to go into the Army, but a lot of them did. I mean, they didn't want to go, but I mean, you know, they went. That's, I mean, that's an important concept. The, uh, the mentality of Japanese American, of Japanese. Yes. Explain that to them, Mom. What, you, you explain it to them. you explain it? <laughs> You're the one who knows more about it than I do. <laughs> We just followed what our parents told us to do, and and since the government told them that they had we had to go, we went. We didn't protest. You know, so we just did follow the leader. Bring up the guard thing. How did how did the what was the attitudes of the guards and of the people administrating the camp towards the internees? Well, I think Heart Mountain was okay. Uh, I think Tula Lake was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And because they, that's where they put a lot of those that, you know, protested. And so they, they had, a, it was rough there. And they had fights and, you know, riots and stuff like that. But, um, Heart Mountain was not, we, we didn't have that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, I guess people were more laid back and they didn't, didn't have, uh, you know, people that resented things. We just, they said we had to do it, so we did it.
Um, how is how is your relationship with your teachers? Um, I understand. I know that you said you were you were not there for that long, but my understanding is that there was a high churn rate, uh, teachers coming and leaving often. Or in your well, in your well, case, the, the year the year that I was there, I had the same teachers for the whole year, um, and they were nice. They were nice. I like my music teacher. She was very nice, and. Uh, I don't remember the, the, my algebra teacher was okay, but I don't remember the others. In fact, I don't even know what I took. <laughs> <laughs> you got something else to mm, Maybe, what was the attitudes of your fellow students? Uh, well, everybody just, you know, went to school. The people that I knew, there wasn't anybody bad, you know. The younger, I think the people that were younger, they had fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because they didn't have to do anything, I mean, you know. They could go out and play and do whatever they wanted. They didn't have much of a home life. The parents, you know, couldn't control them that much, some of them. Depends on the parents. Did you participate in any school events, like school dances and things like that? Not really. We had a group, you know, of girls that was in a club. Mm. But uh, not that really. I, we didn't do very much. Some people did. They had groups and they, did, they had dances. And... Uh, they would invite the boys and the girls, and they would, and then they had shows. They would do uh, like uh, plays. I mean, you know, things like that. So we got to go and sit out there and listen to people sing and things like that in the summer. Couldn't do it in the winter time, but we did it in the summertime. Um, I guess some was like people your age that they was dating common, just as common as it would have been in like in a normal society, or was be or the confi did the confinement of the camps like prohibit that? No, they could get a lot go on dates if they wanted to, but I mean you know probably more so than if they had they there was nothing else to do, <laughs> so a group of them would get together, I guess. I didn't, but I mean, you know, probably, I, w I was a square. <laughs> it, probably, it probably would have been easier in the camps than if they were in the yeah. farms, huh? But, uh, you know, uh, you got to see people and do things, and, you know, whereas if you were outside, you're confined to your own area, and you wouldn't meet a lot of these people. So you, they made, people made a lot of friends. And uh, they even, you know, some of them, they still meet together, even now. Um, um, could you maybe uh, tell us about maybe interactions that you had with visitors from the nearby towns? Uh, I never saw anybody. I never had any. So I have no idea what, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm really not a good, because <laughs> I wasn't there for four, three years. You know, I think that, like, uh, this one guy, he says he got to go out, and, you know, because he was on the newspaper. So he got to go and, and uh, but of course they had signs, no Japs allowed, you know. But uh, they rode a truck and they went and did those things that they had to do. And then, of course, like I said, they went out and had baseball and football. They got to go, those guys, they got to go and uh, play. And uh, so, you know, a lot of this stuff happened. All I'm, is what I hear is what I've 
or what I've seen in some of the movies and because I really wasn't uh, I wasn't in camp that much mm. enough but the 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 guards were okay I mean nobody shot anybody <laughs> I, I don't know how they snuck out but they snuck out and they went to the river and they had fun um, so have you returned to um, the campground in, in Wyoming since then? Since you no. left? No. No, I never did. I don't really care to go. There are a lot of people that did go. They like it. They built a monument for, you know, academic things. They have a building at Heart Mountain. So, but I mean, you know, when you drive back, there's the camp of Manzanar, you know, you could, I don't know where that is near, where is it near? <laughs> it's not, it's not too far, I don't think, about four, four or five hours. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of, uh, they built some of the buildings, you know, and uh, this one man, since they were farmers, a lot of them, they, they went out and grew a lot of vegetables, so we had fresh vegetables. And uh, what else did they do? Uh, well, we got... Health-wise, we got all that free, so uh, that was good. And, uh, well, like Manzanar, they had a they had a picture about Manzanar fishing, and it showed about how they snuck out and they went out and they got fish. They caught fish, some of the guys. They're very good at that. I don't know how they got out, but they got out. <laughs> they get out at night, you know. And uh, they sneak underneath the wire and go out there. Fish. One guy stayed out there for seven days. I mean, there's no roll call, so they wouldn't be missed, except by the family. Did uh, you or your family have any experience with the hospital in the camp? No. We were pretty healthy. We didn't have to do it. Although my uh, uh, my sister-in-law had a baby mm. there. Yeah. So the baby food, they had to kind of squash it themselves and, you know, kind of hard to get all the food type of food you want for babies, but they had milk. I guess, um, um, uh, I don't know if you, were you aware of like, the loyalty questionnaires that were being assessed in the camps? Well, I didn't ever see them because, you know, I'm not that old, mm -hmm. because you had to be at least 18, 21? I don't know. But your friends t talked about it. Well, I don't know. Remember when we were watching that thing? Hazel and Aki were talking about it. What they say? I can't remember. <laughs> you remember? They, no, I just remember they said that they had. They remembered that signing them. Mm. See, I didn't have to do that because I was too young. Mm. And they said yes, yes. They did. <laughs> As opposed to no, no. Oh, yeah. There's two well, questions. Oh. Loyalty questions. I guess. I don't know. Well, there were a lot of them that didn't, you know, didn't like to sign it, so they went to Tula Lake, California. And there were a lot of them that went back to Japan, too, because they didn't, they didn't say, you know, they said no, no. Right. So, yeah. 
so they were sent back to Japan. But, uh, How did your parents respond to it? <laughs> I guess they said yes, because they never went anywhere. <laughs> Well, actually, I, you know, like I said, we were gone in a year, so maybe they didn't even get have to worry about it because I think it came about the second year or something like that when they were doing going into the army. Um, you're, have you talked to? I mean, after the years after being in the camps, did you ever talk to your parents about? What happened, or did you guys ever talk about it at all? Or was it something that was just not mentioned? Right, not mentioned. In fact, I didn't even talk to my kids about it. It's just something that, as Japanese, you did. When they said you had to go, you went. Unless you wanted to go to jail. Could you uh, possibly describe your, your readjustment period after the your time being spent in the camps and jumping back into um, American society? Well, like I said, I went and became a schoolgirl, mm -hmm. so I became like a maid in a home, and uh, well, I wasn't happy. <laughs> But I wasn't going to, you know, to me, that was life. You know, just had, that's one of the things you just had to grin and bear. There's Japanese words for it. Mm -mm -mm. So we just, uh, the, the majority of us just took it. So what can you do? Can't be helped. It's just like all the Jews went in to those. Well, that was. That was that was worse. But I mean, <laughs> they just they did what they were told to. So which was bad, which is worse. At least we weren't treated that bad. Have you ever felt any resentment towards the U.S. government for? Or that looking at it in retrospect well well yeah I guess so but I don't I'm you know what's was what happened has happened and there's nothing you can do about it so why bother <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's um that's all we have um so far for as far as questions. Um, are there any last like comments you like to give about the topic at all? Um, well, no, I mean you know unless you have specific questions, I mean I could ask some other people about if you want specific questions, you know, because I really. I really don't have, you know, all I have is that one year. Uh, the one year there, but yes, I guess I did resent it because I was not, I did not, in the 10th, uh, 11th and 12th grade, I was not at home. So I did not have a home life. You know, I was always working and going to school and nobody around, nobody, you know, no family around. So, I guess I did resent it, doing, you know, having to do that, because didn't have enough money to, <laughs> to work for my own keep. You wouldn't have had to go in had it not been the camp. Yeah, I would have stayed home. I would have been at home, going to school. But, uh, and then my, the, all the family was all broken up. They went here and there. and. So, not a, not a normal home life. So I guess I guess we all did resent it, of course. So, wasn't fun. <laughs>
Although if you were really young, you know, maybe they, you'd have fun because you could go out and play with your friends. That's it. So if you, have, if you have any other questions, you can, you know, email her and I can ask other people and give you answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for helping us out with this project. Okay. So, I mean, sorry, I, I can't give you that much information because I don't have it. No, that, that was, you give us a lot. Like, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of the, what a lot of this project is about is how, not just what happened, but how people remember it too. So even yeah. in fact, even in fact, not remembering certain things is actually a lot. It says a lot in itself. So no, this is a lot. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I hope it helps you get an A. <laughs> sure, it will. Thank you. <laughs> okay. If you have any other questions, just let Chris know, and I'll try to get some answers for you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.